Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is Matt, and in today's video I will be counting down the best farming simulator maps, part 3. So, these are all very good maps, just brilliant maps, such as American maps, British maps and more. So, before we do actually get onto this list though, I am really proud to announce I have recently made an Android app that showcases all the best FS19 mods and all the recent news for farming simulator, so make sure to go give it a download if you have an Android phone or device, and you'll not be disappointed, I've worked very hard on it, link in the description. Make sure you do also drop a like on this video and share it to your friends or just on social media to just spread the word about these amazing maps and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get quite a lot of likes on this video, so please do drop a like. And yep, yeah. so the first map we have on this list is called Sussex Farm. This map is set in the UK and features amazing countryside scenery and local towns. It also includes a stunning port and a harbour for you to explore and sell produce to. Which is one thing in itself, but when we get onto the next bit, it's very impressive. This map has many farms with enough places slash areas to build your own farms and fields. This gives the map a range of customization features so you can make it unique to your own tastes. And this is one of the good things about this map. I always, when I'm looking for a map for these videos or just to play for myself, I always look for a like, level of customization. Because I don't like to just have a default map that everyone else plays on. I like to make it a little bit my own, whether that's landscaping or adding my own features into it. And this map just really, well, yeah, it's just really good for that. So that's a very good feature of this map. One other nice feature is free water and lime around the map, as well as standard season support. So free water and lime is really useful, so you don't have to waste any money on that. Well, it's not waste, but spend any money on that. So you can if you're fertilising your fields or weeding, whatever, then you can use them and water for animals and things like that, completely free, so you don't have to worry about that. And then standard season support, so it's just like playing the map that has full the snow mask, and if you don't know what that is, then it's just so that you can have snow and it looks realistic. And yep, that is what you expect in the map, so nice. And the thing about this map, why it hits home for me and I put it on this list, is because I played this map in FS17 and I loved it. And it was actually, if you have been on the channel for a long time, I did a series on this, like, I think it was October 2018, and I did a series on it, and I got it on Xbox, and it was very, very fun to play, and that was my first ever Farms Mod series. So make sure you do go and give it a try, because you will not miss out on that. Moving on to the second map, we have Shamrock Valley, by Oxygen David. This map is a fan favourite, and is very popular. The main reason for it is that it's set in an amazing Irish landscape and towns that bring the map to life, making it unique to other maps and, yeah, just overall different. This map is set on the coast of a small Irish town like Sussex Farm, has an amazing port and harbour nearby, so that is pretty cool. This map features full season spot, with new seasons features, new textures, 38 small, medium and large fields around the map, 3 BGA cell points, a brand new lighting engine and best of all a drivable boat around the bay. So that's one of the things you do not see in the map. Not only just you can drive vehicles like trucks and that, but you can actually drive a boat around like the sea around that bit. You honestly do not want to miss this map, so go give it a download with the link in the description and the link is also in my best FS news and mods Android app, so make sure you do check that out and download this map because it is brilliant really. And you don't see many Irish maps which is why I like this one because it's kind, kind of unique and not just set in the same place every time. And he did a great job on this map, he perfected everything, everything's polished, nothing's like rough edges and it's really a nice map so if you do like Irish maps and British maps, this one is a really good pick for you so go check out. Third on this list we have Bajon Hall, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Bajon Home, whatever. Some of you guys might remember that name, yep, a lot of you probably do. If you do, it's because it was a starter map in FS15. Well, it is completely overhauled for FS19, we have a brand new engine, new uh, textures, extra fields and cell points. So, not only is it the same map that was in FS15, but it has so much more that it's just like its own map aside from that, which is really cool. This map brings back memories of FS15 and is great for all types of farmers at the same time. The diverse set of fields make a great map for people that like small, medium and big farms and fields. A nice little touch is a plane that goes overhead every now and again, like the one in Sussex Farm, that's a little easter egg in there. This map yet again with full fair season support, 
so you can play the original FS15 map with snow. So I, when I think of seasons, I think of snow, so that's why I put that in. But you can play it with wind, rain, whatever, in this map. So it's completely like overhauls from the original map, but still keeping the base features, which makes it uh, the FS15 starter map. So it brings back their memories, and yeah. So that is number three. And moving on to number four, we have Tuscan Lands. This map has a very hilly landscape in the Siena area with 26 fields of various sizes, a vehicle dealership with a point of sale and repair, a cattle dealer, and the BGA. So that's pretty cool, a lot of features already. Also, there are eight points of sale, consortium, log, sawmill, sale of chips, sale of straw and hay, spinning, um, spinning mill, sugar mill, agricultural cooperative, and fertilizer center. So that is a lot for one map, I will admit. So that's a lot of seller points and um, dealerships and whatever, there's a lot packed into there. Which makes this map very big, it is a big map and it's not the biggest but it's quite large. But a lot is packed into one like dense area. So 26 fields of various sizes, most being medium or large, not many small ones. So that makes it, yeah, a pretty big map. Along with all the hills and the log sawmills and the sale of trips, whatever, everything packed into one thing it is really good, everything's local. It's a very, very nice map and you do love to see it. So yeah, make sure you do go and get that. But it also has season support, so it is pretty much a default for every map that you expect season support to be on it, and this one does. This means you can play in this stunning, immersive environment with a very realistic feel. I have to say too, this map looks outstanding with snow and is a top pick for me. So definitely go give this map a download if you love big and like medium fields and not so much small ones so yep and what you've all been waiting for finally the best on this list we have Wilhelmina Forest so as all the other maps in this video are regular maps so I had to put a forestry map in here this map is great for avid lumberjacks that like to also work the land just like normal maps so this is pretty cool and nice little hybrid map there are no main roads on this map but there are hundreds of little trails that can be followed to get to the middle and the areas surrounding the forest. So that adds a little sense of realism because if you are working like a huge forest around the lake, there's not going to be a ton of main roads in and out of the forest. There's going to be little trails like there's little mud paths that you can go through, little, um, yeah, pretty much little paths that you can go in and out of with your car. Some are car size, some are just you have to go on foot, and some are little areas where you park and then go into the forest. So that's very cool. There are well over 5,000 trees on this map that can keep you playing for a very long time. So if you're in quarantine right now, you are set. And yeah, there is a river and a lake that can run through the middle of the heart of the map. And the best part is that the lake freezes over in winter. If you have yeah the addition of seasons, so if you are playing with seasons on, it freezes over when it's snowing. So that is really cool and you love to see that, yeah. And the snow is a great thing for me, and I do love to see it, so yeah, it's a very nice little touch, so well done to the modders and the makers of that. So guys, that wraps up today's video. They were my best, like, the, my pick for the best FS19 maps in the game right now. If you do um, want to download these and you haven't already, um, then you can go to the link in the description and download these. Or, you can go to my FS app, and yeah, you can do that. Or if you have not already and you want to actually go and watch my video about the best farm simulator mods, make sure you do go down this link, link in the description or just watch it on my channel. Make sure you do actually leave a like and tell me in the comments what you think the best farm simulator 19 map is. And tell me in the cards now if you want to see a part 4 for this video. Because I made a lot of these and you guys really like them. I've had so, like, so many people tell me they're great and that yeah, they find maps from these videos and play with them. And they are grateful for that, so yeah. Do not forget, I have actually made an Android app that showcases all the best FS19 mods and all the recent news. So go download that if you have an Android phone or device. Link in the description. And yeah, subscribe for more Farm Simulator 19 content and go follow me on my social medias. I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Go follow me on there to keep updated. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And I guess I'll see everybody next time. Bye.